So do you have neck, back, hip, or maybe knee pain? If so, you are like millions of Americans suffering from this debilitating chronic pain. Dr. Ashraf Hanna from Florida Spine Institute is a Bay Area pain management doctor who treats patients suffering from both chronic back and neck pain. Joining him today is one of his patients, Janet Helm, that's had great success with a treatment called radio frequency ablation, or RFA. Thank you guys both for joining us today. Thank you. Thank Stephanie. you. So tell me a little bit about this treatment, this radio frequency ablation. What is this used for? Okay, well, radio frequency ablation or RFA, it's a simple minimally invasive procedure that helps relieve pain. It's very similar to the laser spine surgery in the sense that they both achieve the same goal, which is cauterization of the sensory nerve endings ah, that transmits okay. the pain. And actually, it is better than the laser spine surgery because it's less invasive, it's only small needles, there's no even small incisions, and it's covered by most insurance companies. Oh, so good, it doesn't really good. cost thousands of dollars. So this is something you can go in for and it's not gonna take you out for days and days at a time? No, no, it takes oh, you know, 10, 15 minutes and you're done. That's very good. And you were yes. really on top of a lot of these different innovative treatments as well. Yes. Innovative yes. As well. All right, so what is normally this procedure used most for? Like what types of pain? We usually use it for back pain and neck pain, but lately also been using it for hip pain and knee pain. So usually we start with uh, steroid injections okay. and see how much better and how long it lasts. If it doesn't last that long, then we proceed with the diagnostic block. We block the nerves that actually supply those joints with local anesthetic and see if the pain will go away or not. If the patient gets at least 50% relief or above, then those are very good candidates for the radiofrequency ablation. What I really want to emphasize is for patients with back pain and neck pain, that not only because your MRI is showing bad disc, bulging discs, or degenerative disc disease, is that that's your main source of the back pain. You know, these small sense. joints in the back are really responsible for at least 40-50% of the back pain. And radiofrequency ablation really helps eliminate that pain. Now, is this something that you would do one time, or is it a treatment that you have to do a couple times? Yeah, it usually lasts for about eight months to a year. Oh my goodness, so you can it's just, a huge you know, amount of relief. Yeah, so you can repeat it again. It's just 15, 20 minutes procedure in and out. Wow, very good. Now, mm -hmm. Janet, tell me a little bit about your story with this. You had back pain, chronic back pain? Yes, I've suffered from chronic back pain for about 20 years. Uh, it started with a uh, herniated torn disc in my lumbar spine. And then in 2007, I had to have an open back spinal cord surgery. And <clears throat> what they did there was um, that they put metal into my vertebrae. And when, after the surgery, I was in unbearable pain. So I went through physical therapy, I took medication, I had injections, and I still had a lot of pain. So I went to Dr. Hanna and I did try the RFA procedure and it has helped me and also uh, I need less me uh, medication now. That's huge, that being able huge. to get patients <laughs> off that long-term medication yes. as well. Yeah. What would you say to other patients that are watching right now about if they're out there also dealing with this chronic back pain? Well, I would definitely say uh, if, if you have tried the things that I did, the physical therapy, the injections, uh, other modalities, uh, before you go in for uh, an invasive uh, back surgery, give an RFA a try. Uh, there is hope. Uh, you don't have to live in pain. All right, some very good advice. And what a life-changing moment this is. Thank you guys sure. both for sharing some Thank information you. about Thank this as well. Thank you. Okay, if you are interested and would like more information about Florida Spine Institute, there are two websites right now that you can see on the screen. You can check out either one of those, or you can also call the phone number also featured for more information. All right, we are going to be back to wrap things up on this Friday right after this.